According to Lala Kent and many fans, Tom Schwartz should be held accountable for the role that he played in the Raquel Levis hookup scandal, which has rocked the Vanderpump Rules friend group. Freshly divorced from his six-year marriage to co-star Katie Maloney, Tom kissed his Raquel while filming Vanderpump Rules season 10. Tom and Katie, however, had a pact to not hook up with anyone from their cast, allowing filming to be less awkward for the pair while they navigate their split and newly single lives. Though Tom broke this pact, a lot of the blame was placed on Raquel, allowing Tom to skirt any responsibility for his actions. Cast members are weary of Tom always playing the victim card. Vanderpump Rules Season 10 showed Ariana Maddox in a confessional, wondering why the women are always to blame for situations involving Tom. Her thoughts were joined by Lala Kent. I've said this from the jump, she stated, before assigning Tom a title of the true villain within their cast, pointing out that his puppy-like demeanor often sees him escaping accountability. Now viewers have a few choice words for Tom's behavior. Reddit user B Dogs, who doesn't seem to care much for Lala but still thinks that she is accurate, said, the worst person you know just made a great point. Rachel Green 53 joined in, explaining, I honestly think Tom just doesn't care if he hurts other people. Any empathy we see from him is because he feels bad for himself. Vanderpump Rules Katie Maloney held Tom Schwartz accountable now that Katie and Tom are no longer a package deal. Tom seems to be skirting by even more with his bad behavior, as he has no one at home to answer to for any of his poor choices. Besides Katie early on, resulting in a drink on her head, I don't recall anyone really holding him to the flames and not letting him wiggle out of his bull asterisk 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 asterisk, said Alive 1982. I would love to see someone, anyone do this because you know he would flip his lid, they continued. As for Tom's dark behavior, usually seen when drinking or when backed into a corner by a woman, they concluded by saying, his mask would completely slip again. He hasn't let it happen since early season so you know it's simmering just under the surface. Emerging as another possible villain in this debate, however, is Vanderpump Rules co-star Sheena Shea, who encouraged Tom and Raquel to hook up. That said, Sheena was not the one who broke the couple's pact, that feat belongs to Tom alone. As Tom was the one in the marriage who agreed to the pact of not hooking up with a co-star, him breaking this deal definitely qualifies him as the only villain in this particular situation. While Raquel should have known better, she and Katie were never close friends, therefore, her actions cannot be seen as destructive as Tom's. Hopefully, he reads the room and begins to reflect. Viewers can be forgiving but only when accountability and changed behavior occur. Following a nasty public fallout with ex-fiancé Randall Emmett, Lala has endured a lot during the filming of recent Vanderpump Rules seasons. It's not at all surprising that she is throwing down this gauntlet and stepping in to support women who are being trashed online, all while stepping up, calling out the need for accountability with men like Tom. With only a few episodes having aired so far, Vanderpump Rules Season 10 is off to a dramatic start. Hopefully, this energy of calling out undesirable traits continues for the continued growth of each cast member involved in this hit series and also because it makes for great television. Vanderpump Rules airs Wednesdays at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Bravo. Sources, B. Daltz, Reddit, Tom Schwartz, Instagram.